Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 16 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about various data types that are relevant for image processing. Now, starting with uh, string, which is part of our text. So any text, the data type is string. So for example, if we assign a variable to A, some text, let's say hello, the data type of A is string. Now you can find that out by looking at the variable explorer. You can see it gives clearly gives you the name, the type, the data type, what is the size of it, and what are the values. That's why I always love to keep this variable explorer open so I can get a quick snapshot of uh, uh, the, the vari various variables that we have in the code. Now, uh, another uh, data type is numbers. So if you actually assign a value of, for example, 10, and uh, you can find out the data type by just typing type. And uh, for example, let's do B in this case. So that would be an integer, okay? And float would be, if you say your C equals to 10.4, then that would be uh, a data type of uh, float. So anything that has a decimal, think of it as having a data type of float. And float can be any number. Think of this as a decimal. Now you can convert from one data type to the other. For example, if you say, uh, let's say our D equals to int of C. Okay, now if you type D, the value is 10 because it's not a decimal anymore, but it rounded it off to 10. So this should highlight a key potential problem here, which is if you're dealing with floating point numbers and you're converting that into an integer, you need to be a bit careful in terms of what type of rounding errors you need to be dealing with. Okay, so uh, the other data types, and of course, the data type can be E equals to, let's say, 0 0.00234, yeah? So this is also a floating point number. Now, uh, if you're actually working with images, especially in scikit image library, again, if you remember, we identified two libraries there as the primary libraries for image processing, scikit image and OpenCV. If you convert an image from integer into float using scikit image functions, then it will be converted to float, but you have to be aware that the values will be between zero to one. So all the values will be normalized to values between zero and one. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute, but I would like to reiterate this many times so you understand what's going on here. So even if your values are zero to 255, when you convert that into float, it won't be 255 point, it would be zero to one where all the values are normalized to these values, okay, between zero to one. So uh, before jumping onto that, let's actually look at a, a couple of others like arrays list, for example, we can actually create an array of one, two, three, four. We did this in our previous tutorial. Now, if you type, what is the value type of A? It is a list. But if you look up here in the variable explorer, it's going to mention that, okay, the type is list and the size is four, and in this case, our values are all integers in the list. Now, if you have a NumPy array, then you can clearly see, for example, uh, we'll get to that when we load an image, so I don't want to sidetrack now. Now, you can convert the types from one to the other. For example, when you enter an input with a keyboard into your program, for example, you're executing a program, and it says, okay, provide me uh, a number, and you enter 10, that number, is uh, recorded as a string. It may be confusing, but let me explain what I mean. So a equals to 10, okay? So what is this? This is an integer, right? So type a, so this is an integer. Now you can actually say your, uh, for example, b equals to string of a. So now if you type b, your b has a value of 10, but see these quotations right next to it? If I type a, there is, there is no quotes. That quotes means this 10 is a text. It's not, it's not uh, a number. We can prove that. Let's just do B multiplied by two. You get 1010. You get A multiplied by two. You get 20. So to get your math right, the numbers need to be uh, in the form of numbers, like integer, float, or any of these. If it's text, for example, if my A, I go back to, let's create a new one, C equals to hello. If I do C multiplied by two, then this would be hello, hello. Okay, for text, it's just concatenating the same text that many times. Okay, if I do, uh, for example, C squared, then it, it doesn't know what to do with that. 
because it's not a number. Okay, so you can convert one type to the other. So now we can actually convert our D equals to int of uh, uh, B. So now my D is back to 10. Now I can do any math. So you can convert from integer to string and string to integer if it makes sense. Okay, uh, and uh, the last one, Boolean, uh, we, I already talked about dictionaries in my previous tutorial, so I'm gonna uh, spend not much time talking about those and lists in this tutorial. Now, finally, I would like to just quickly mention uh, uh, Boolean. So for example, let's say A equals to five. Uh, let me clear the screen so I don't confuse you. So C-L-E-A-R, okay. So A equals to five and let's say B equals to 10, okay? Now, if I do A equal equal, b it should say false so if you type two equals to it's like questioning it's like asking this is like i covered part of this in our if and else part so a double equals to b is like is a equals to b that's the question it says false now a less than b it should be true is a less than b yes of course so it's true a greater than b okay it's false because our a is less than b now there is also a not equals to b put an exclamation then it should be true yes of course a is not equals to b now a not less than b that that doesn't exist yeah so uh, a less than b a greater than b a not equals to b a equals to b these are uh, the questions now uh, of course you can also do uh, a equals to uh, less than b and uh, a or a equals to b or something so this this part i covered it in our if and else uh, part and then uh, please go ahead and watch that video again so so far we understand our data types of uh, hopefully you understand uh, what a string is integer float we will not be dealing a lot with complex numbers and again if you do any for example fourier transform of your image then the output will be a complex number okay so hopefully uh, you don't have to worry about it yet but eventually we'll get into that uh, area and i'll spend a bit more time talking about these complex numbers now let me finish this video just by uh, importing a bunch of uh, let's actually let me go ahead and paste the text I copied here. So for image processing using scikit image again scikit image is one of our uh, two main libraries that we are going to use over and over. So there are uh, a few data types and let me explain those. So if you say u int 8 that stands for unsigned integer meaning all numbers are positive okay and 8 bit and we know what 8-bit is, right? So I explained this in our digital, uh, what is a digital image video. 8-bit is uh, an image that has two to the power of eight gray levels. So your values go between zero to 255, okay? So unsigned int eight values go from zero to 255. By the way, you can convert any image from any format to other formats. Unsigned 16 is 0 to 65,535, these many gray levels. Unsigned integer 32, the uh, it can be pretty large computation, right? So you have uh, way too many values. That is 0 to, this should be 2 to the power of 32 minus 1. Okay, 2 to the power of 32 minus 1. So this is that many uh, uh, gray levels. Uh, typically, you don't need that many for most applications, so you may not be working with uh, the unsigned integer 32 a lot. Now, floating point, again, I talked about floating point. Now, any number can be float, right? I mean, we just saw, for example, A equals to 200. Now, A equals to, sorry, 200 point dot. Now, if you type of A, this is a floating point number because I put a dot right next to it. So that's not what float in scikit image actually means. Like I mentioned earlier, typically the values are between zero to one. So if you take a zero to one, uh, zero to 255 image and convert that into float using scikit image function, which we'll do in a minute, then the values be uh, will be between zero and one. Now, if you take a unsigned integer 32, because this is tremendous amount of numbers, now when you convert that into float in scikit image, the values will be between minus one and one. But that's a rare scenario, so I'm not gonna dwell too much time. All of these, uh, typically you don't work with these, so again, 
it's up to you if you want to understand what they are but i just listed them here so finally let's actually use our scikit image library to import io again this is the method that we use to read images again i'll spend uh, a full tutorial on reading images so let's not dwell on that point i'm also importing a library uh, i mean a, a method called uh, or a function if you want to call it image as float so first i'm reading an image so let's clear all the variables so everything looks CLS. Let's clear the screen and I'm going to run these two lines. So first of all, my image, I'm going to read it. And this should be a color image with three channels and all integer values because I'm just reading it normally. Now I'm going to convert that as float. So let's go ahead and zoom up here in this area. So you can see my image is unsigned integer eight. You can look at the values, 7, 69, 61. These are all uh, integer values. And then my image 2 is float 64, a floating point number, where the values are 0 0.02 and all of that. So in fact, if you just look at, uh, uh, how do we check, image 2.max, this should be 1.0. If you just look at image, uh, sorry, dot max, then this should be 255. Yeah, the maximum value in my image is 255 here in image to it 1.0. Again, I'll, I'll talk about this conversion in multiple videos because this is where I originally got confused and made a few mistakes and I don't want you to make exactly the same mistakes. So thank you very much for this tutorial. I hope you learned something useful and let's cover a different topic in the next tutorial and slowly start learning uh, uh, Python for images. So thank you very much.